TikToks are AI generated. Oh, you mean like there are like I think there are like like Chinese models that are being AI generated now. Okay. In light of a recent event where someone bought some naughty photos on Reddit believing they were a real female only to discover they were an AI generated character, I offer my (laughs) deepest condolences to them for being the first person to fall for this and being clowned on by the entire internet. Fake yeah. images have been a very hot topic these days. Even Nat Geo posted about which of these animals are professionally taken and artificially generated. These photorealistic AI images, like the Pope's latest strip, probably already reach far and wide into the world because of how convincing they are. And now, okay. videos are following a similar trajectory. Previously, we have gone over a few interesting text video AIs with some generating very goofy stuff and others that go down the uncanny valley. But today, I have some truly okay. jaw dropping creations people have made through a lot of sweaty gpu work that i want to share with you like today's sponsor opera gx i mean to be fair um give me a sec to to be fair i am actually waiting for the time that ai actually becomes a real thing that they could start replacing humanity (laughs) you know what i mean like but anyway 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 um my non-ex-human um thoughts about um the thing is like majority of ai like if you're a sucker that fell for the ai i won't blame you because there are some people who fell, who fell for... I believe that there was a story about like a, an AI person who, who started on OnlyFans and even, is, and even was able to capitalize on that really, really good. You know? Like, there, there is basically thousands... Like there's, and the, the person basically earned thousands and thousands of dollars by selling AI nudes. So, yes. In my opinion, at least it doesn't really matter if, if the person is alive or not because, to be fair, you're, you're in it for the aesthetics... I mean, I mean, I'm hoping you are, um, and it doesn't really matter if the person's real or not. You know what I mean? Get bamboozled by by AI wussy man. That's just that's just how it goes, man. That's what I would say. Yeah, that's what I would say. If if you're a sucker who get, who, who who falls for AI generated stuff, then it's fine because I can't really blame you for it because on how how AI is becoming so advanced that it's really hard to 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 separate from reality itself. Does that make sense? It is very very hard to to separate from reality. To the point that at some levels, the singularity will be a thing. And the next thing you know, you don't know the person you're watching or talking to is an AI or not. I, I do think we're getting into that point now, especially with the advances. Give it a few years from now, and I think AI will definitely, definitely be the future. That looks this long. Text to video, or more specifically, video style transfer, are at the stage where people are taking whatever tools they can find in order to produce high quality AI generated video that looks this good. When stable diffusion can generate images, See? That oh are my God. Mistakes, some people begin to explore the possibility of using image generations to generate videos, or at least transfer the generated Damn. image style onto a video. But the difficulty increases as each of the video frames that the AI referenced and regenerated will not be coherent. So a lot of. Damn. So this is the, the peak. So this is the peak Asian. So this is what you should look like if you're Asian. Basically, look Chinese, Korean, and Japanese. Um, and if you're white, you should definitely be looking like this. Damn! Holy shit! I mean, to be fair, they're genuinely beautiful, though. They're genuinely beautiful. Holy shit! God damn! I wish a- everyone can be AI now. Everyone's gonna be AI now, boys. That's just how, how the future is now. Okay. by everyone around the world and this is the beauty of open source by the way there are a few simple solutions like the temporal net and the grid method which i mentioned a few videos ago to fix the incoherent issues check it out if you haven't however there are even more methods to create better resulting videos and some are external workarounds like interpolation and deflickering and some are refining the inputs even more to guarantee better results like segmenting the character out of the video with other ai research to constrain the input or using taggers to create better tags that was Okay. in the model and this text talk actually bothered me for quite a while the clip was posted by itself a few days ago and while it looks 100 percent ai generated because the background flickers it raised the question of dude why the face is so she's hot god damn look at her future content creation business i actually couldn't find a source to confirm how they had done it but it probably was achieved with control net image to image multi-frame processing jesus later, christ the original video was found and you could see the low bit rate helped to hide a lot of inconsistencies like the necklace wrist rays and even the hands traces of image to image are very obvious but 
the face is nearly indiscernible to see the inconsistencies. With an AI face that looks extremely real, Jesus and Christ, man! Most people, it has the power to change the landscape or even oversaturate the influencer or model businesses. If beauty or looks are the main selling point, of course. But some of you might say these fake AI faces are just filters with extra steps. There are already a lot of influencers that okay. use heavy filters to make themselves look attractive. Well, that's a fair argument. But these AI faces can be generated with a lot of diversities, customizations, and those pre-made filters are pre-programmed and will be extremely hard to customize. And we have only just scratched the surface of what these type of AIs is capable of doing because making someone look more attractive okay. is not its only function. It is much more generalizable. You can make it on sceneries, you can make it on animals. People just put it on humans right now because that is one of the hardest thing to achieve. This Hatsune Miku generation workflow has changed how people generate AI videos for humanoids in the past few weeks. This is probably by far one of the best and the clearest guides out there so far to generate videos that are Damn. here with stable Damn. Damn. And have Damn. results. Damn. I can't wait for a. F Imagine if, if if this is the. F maybe this is the future of AI, man. I'm already telling. Maybe this is the future. Like this maybe maybe having this, having a base human act and reenact everything and having like multiple AI fe uh, f filtered features. I think, you know what? I'll take it. You know what? I think I'll take it. You know, if it, it's, it's basically VTubing, but second generation of VTubing then. Because by the end of it, because the concept of VTubing is that you are a human person and then, but in the camera, because due to software processes, you become an, an online uh, anime character, right? Maybe this is what it looks like too in the future. Like maybe in the future, like everyone is like still being sitting on their computers, but because of the multi rendering and software um, support, you get to be as, as beautiful as you can be. You know, you become, you become this generally incredibly beautiful person. Like, Dude, imagine how much simp farming, dude, imagine if girls was able to do this and they became literally these beautiful models or these beautiful people. Imagine, bro, imagine how much millions of dollars they'd be, they'd be farming from their simps, man. I'm not even fucking with you at this point. I think this is going to be the future of streaming and content creation. Because the thing is, let's just be honest here, majority of the time, as long as you look pretty and you look, you look very beautiful, it doesn't matter if it's synthetic or it's natural, humans will be voting for you. Damn, dude, holy shit. Being being born a girl definitely has more benefit now than being born a dude. Holy shit, man. If I could be like a cute girl like this dancing and... Ho Damn, holy fuck, did I take it? But the problem is my voice is so manly. Holy shit. Okay. Pop. Maybe there exists a future where people can... Kim Kardashian has been doing that for years more already. Playable ...and visually pleasant. Yeah. Videos, and it's time it becomes mainstream. ...with RTX on very soon. Or this real life to anime TikTok, which uses a very similar workflow for making the Hatsune Miku style transfer with the addition of MOV to MOV, okay. which is a Chinese extension for automatic 1111, and was able to restrain the hands and make it not disappear or grow an extra limb. MOV to MOV reduces all the manual processing you need when doing batch image to image generation Damn. or making videos by exporting frames from videos, segmenting humans, generating backgrounds for green screens, and combining everything back together into a video. Jesus Christ! Neat. This author also made another test where he tested out another clip of different dance moves, and to be honest, I don't know if I will still be able to monetize this video. The results video looks really good though, it's just way too interpolated. It shows a very good coherency that we were not capable of doing before. Cool tech, but nothing new. Honestly, kinda cringe. And the author replied, I spent a lot of time trying other things, but only dance videos manage to attract people's attention sometimes i find okay. it's quite confusing because traffic for technical me who's naturally beautiful less. money well, where sometimes <laughs> what gets made is the result of what the seems environment pretty cool is. i have been an, an anime like girl so. yeah i get you emails while demoing some really advanced technical content it's not just because they like it but also because it's the only way to get their work seen in order to popularize and push its improvements on the other hand someone actually did the opposite converting anime back to real life while well, technically half real but yes live action cowboy bebop was something I did not expect. Even though the face still looks a bit stiff and unusually okay. attached, this is definitely a first in doing this and actually looks decent. The most interesting details are the face and the hands. These two are probably the most realistic parts and I'm surprised okay. that the hands rarely grow five or more fingers. Wait, oh my god, did you see that? Wait, 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 let me go back again. What is that? Is that is that someone telling you to subscribe to ByCloud? But yeah, these God damn it. Twitter AI I legend, got baited hard there, okay? These videos like every two days because all of these processes require extreme patience to create, long time to render, damn. and expensive GPUs like 490s to run. So this is still not a practical solution if you want to use it in a serious production like an anime. Never mind, they already did it. They just slapped an anime filter over the real life footage and drew on a face on top of this guy or some sort. 
<laughs> okay. Speechless. But anyways, a few more architectures down the line, we'll probably see these AI models haunting the normies on TikTok or Reels, and True. we will just sit back and enjoy the panic that we have already experienced days before them. Thanks for watching. Big shout out to- I mean, to be fair, I'm oh, sorry. I mean, like, to be fair, in my opinion, is that, um, I think it's, this is going to be the future. Like, I, I genuinely think this is going to be the future. Given the opportunity to do so, while the technology still increases or it still improves, if you're going to be a streamer or a content creator, I think it's better that you start putting this in your, uh, or in your workflow. You know, if, for example, like you start using these filters and make it look as natural as they can, but instead try to make it a point that it enhances your natural beauty or it enhances your natural features already rather than recreating them from scratch. You know what I mean? Like, I do think it is, I, th I do think this is the future of streaming and content creation, like just to be honest with you, because um, people get baited easily by beautiful faces. So I do think this is going to be the future. So if you're going to be a streamer, you're gonna be a VTuber. You're gonna be a um, if you want to be a like a future streamer. You want to be a VTuber or no, no, not a VTuber. Sorry, uh, a video creator, like a content creator, like a vlogger kind of style basis. Or you just want to make rant videos, but you want to put your face on. I think it's definitely time that you use this. Or if not, start you know start doing your research and maybe start putting like filters on every stream. Because I mean, let's be honest here. The only time they will look at you is the moment you go out of the house. So, yes, I do think this is genuinely, I do think sh this is genuinely um, the future. So anyway, that's a huge tip for you guys, future content creators, future streamers. Take a, take a good look and take a good search on, um, on AI, on AI filters, okay? AI face filters, that's the only thing you need. All right. Great video, man, great video. Let's move on to the next one.